Again. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Okay. So number three, boys and girls, let's take a look at number three together. So we have a square plus a circle equals 54. And also we have a square equals one, two, three, four, five, five squares plus together, correct? Okay, so I would like to ask all of you how to find out the value of square and circle. I'm going to give you two minutes, try to, ah! Okay, so pretend you didn't see it, okay? Um, pretend you didn't see it. Sorry about that. What's this thing called again? Like, what's logic? Okay. Yeah. I need to take notes. Oh, well, that's good, Leo. That's very good. That's a very good. Remember, uh, Violet, every time I want you to take your notes, I would sing, right? I think I should go back to this one. So when I want you to take the notes, everybody oh. needs to sing together. Oh no. I well, no, to... Leo, I don't sing well. No, I mean like I don't like I don't like these like I you know, never mind. It's all it's good, it's good. It's all like the best song Thank ever. Thank you, Leo. Evan, do you think it's pretty? This this is a pretty voice, right? Yeah. <laughs> See? Okay, Evan knows that because if uh, the teacher is pissed, then there are going to be loads of homework. Yeah, I see. Okay, so now everybody, I think two minutes is up. So we're going to just uh, take a look at how to do this one, okay? So first of all, we have a square plus a circle equals 54. And what does it mean, Evan? Can you tell me square equals one, two, three, four, five circles? Uh... Um, square is a uh, five times value of a circle. Very good. Okay, so that means the value of five circles only represent one square. So if you're not very good at algebra, you can actually good at what? Drawing. Right. Okay, so I always yeah. said math is an art. Okay, math is art. Because if you're good at drawing, you could be good at math already. So you can see a square equals one, two, three, four, five, five circles, and a plus another circle equals what? 54. Yep. So that's okay, four so circles. So one, two, three, four, big. So all the circles are the same. So one circle equals what? 54 divided by six equals nine. Right? Yep. Then I go back to this one. That means nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. So square equals 45 correct boys and girls yeah okay so really i think have to actually draw the thing you did draw x and y no, no of course okay so leo is really good at uh, algebra right so this is actually the starting of what of algebra okay so i'm going to just to do a little bit like detail thing explaining for instance we have x equals square and y equals circle so x plus y equals 54 and y equals 5x. Correct, Violet? 
Okay, so I can just replace x plus 5x equals 54. So 1x plus 5x. So some students said, I don't know how to do x plus 5x. So can you do one apple plus five apples? <laughs> yes, you can do it, right? But if you can do one, you can't. Okay, Evan said, I cannot do it because you know what? Oh. As soon as I saw the apple, I have to, I have to eat it. I have to eat it all, right? I have to eat it. I have to finish it all. No, okay? So x plus 5x equals 6x, just like apple. One apple plus five apple equals six apples. So, so you ate six apples. So one apple equals nine. So we know y equals 5x. So y equals five times nine equals 45, correct? Okay, so you... Andrew, there's a thing I want to emphasize with some of you, maybe not Andrew. So if you see 5x, that means five times x, okay? So the reason why we're not saying five times x is because x looks like what? This time, right? Yes. So sometimes it's going to confuse you. But if you see two, one number and one variable together or two variable together, they're definitely just to mean that they are times together. Understand? So for instance, 4x equals 4 times x and 3x equals 3 times x. And one or two x equals one over two times x. Get it, everybody? Okay, so that's the saying. Okay, very good. We actually just have the hint of the algebra. So everybody, I want just to get a little bit harder for all of you. Okay, so this part will be happen in grade eight. Okay, in Canada, we learn in grade eight. But I, everybody, I think we are little by little just going there, okay? So everybody, let's take a look at this one. So if I give you x plus y equals five, okay? And I give you another one, two x plus y equals seven. Can you please tell me what is x and what is y? Okay, everybody, remember I said when we have logic, we have to study very careful with what something is being different. Okay, Violet, could you please tell me, two x plus y equals seven and x plus y equals five. What is this, which part is different? The first one and the second one. Um, two x and x. Okay, so the first equation is two x, the second equation is x. Anything else? Huh? Seven, five. seven and five, very good. The first equation is bigger than the second equation by one X, correct? And okay. the result is bigger than two. Correct, everybody? So that means yep. X equals what? X two. Equals two. So Y equals what? Y equals three. three. Very good, get it everybody? Okay, so also, if you're not very good at checking, you said, ah, teacher, I'm very careless, okay? I'm a person that usually don't care about anything at all. So let's just do this, okay? Andrew, take a look at this one. So 2x minus x equals what? 2x minus x. Two apple minus one apple equals how many apples? One apple. Two apple minus one apple equals one apple. Yes, very good. So y minus y equals what? No, no y. Very good, Andrew. So seven minus five equals what? Equals two, okay. Very good. So now x equals two. So we have what? We have x plus y equals five. So that means two plus y equals five. So y equals what? Y equals three. Get it, everybody? Okay, so this is something pretty easy, right? So I'm going to just to give you one, two, three, three questions to practice. This is algebra, and we're using three out, sorry, two variables to solve the thing. So that's really cool. Okay, Leo and Evan, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we have. 2x plus y equals 10. No, you're not read it out loud, okay? All right. Oh, no, sure. You cannot talk, okay?
What? It's a question two. I don't get question two. Study really hard. Think about it. Use your logic. But if half x plus two y equals six, then isn't doesn't x that means x is not doing anything, right? Yeah. So if x well, is x not doing anything, x equals what? Zero. You answer yourself. I'm not doing anything at all, Leo. Oh. You understand it. Why you need me? Oh. So everybody, I give you some time, okay? Everybody, I'm going to start to explain, okay? Is it okay? Okay, so yeah. let's take a look at this one. So I would like to ask Andrew, oh, sorry, Andrew already answered. Evan, could you please tell me? 3x plus y equals 10 and 2x plus y equals 7. For equation number one and equation number two, did you find out there's something different? Yeah. Yeah, so Evan the fish, could you please tell me? So 3x minus 2x and mm -hmm. 10 equals 7 uh, equals Very. x and 10 minus 7 equals 3. Very so, good. x equals 3. So y equals what? So we can plug this into back to the equation. So it's 2x. So it's 2 times one. x. 2 times 3, right? And plus y equals 7. Correct, Evan? So six plus y equals seven. So could you please tell me y equals what? One. Very good. Good job, Evan the fish, very good. Okay, number two, let's call Leo to explain this question for us because he, at the very beginning, he said, I can't figure myself. And uh, I believe him, I believed him. And he figured out himself, I think. Okay, so basically, mm -hmm. uh, so the difference, like just no difference between like the two fours, right? Yeah, the it same looks number. like the x half x and x is not doing anything at all. Correct? Yeah, so it means it's zero. Because mm -hmm. so like even if zero times half is still zero, so mm -hmm. like infinity times zero is still zero. So mm -hmm. it doesn't do any changes. Mm -hmm. So now, so x equals zero. Then y. It's 2y, right? Mm -hmm. 4 divided by 2y equals 2. Very so good. Y two. So y equals 2 and x equals 0. Get it, Violet? Because you can see half x plus 2y equals 4. x plus 2y still equals 4. So that means the change of the x is not going to affect the result at all. Why it is like that? Because x is 0. So because x is 0, so that's why 2y equals 4. So that's why y equals 2. Very good. So everybody, I want you to write like that, okay? X equals two, y, sorry, X equals zero, Y equals two. For the earlier question, X equals three and Y equals one. What does it mean? That means X equals three and Y equals two is at the same time qualified for the both equations. Okay, and the plus it looks very pretty, correct? <laughs> okay, so last one, Violet, can you tell me how to do this one? This one is a little bit hard, right? Because X is changing, Y is changing, and also the result is changing, correct, everybody? So this is advanced questions, okay? I'm not saying that every one of you have to do it. Oh, Evan already know how to do it. Evan, 
Could you please tell me if they're all changing, how are we going to do it? Okay, so um, what I did was uh, I wanted to make X like nothing. So um, I multiplied the top by two and mm -hmm. multiplied the bottom by three. Very good. Okay, so Evan intend to get rid of X. So he said, I would like to multiply two for the early equation. This so is 6X plus 4Y equals 26. Okay, some students said, no, teacher, you're right. It should be 6X plus 4Y equals 13. That's so-called oh. not fair, right? Because on the left side and right side, they're equal to each other. When you times two for the left side, you need to remember times two for the right side as well, because or else they're going to be crying. They say, oh, it's not fair. Why are they times two? And I'm not. Correct, Violet? Okay. So the other side will be 6x plus 3y equals 24. So now x is the same. y is not the same. So we can find out y equals 2. Correct? Yep. Okay. So if y equals 2, so x equals what? So 2 times x plus 2 equals 8. So 2x equals 6, right? Because 6 plus 2 equals 8. So x equals 3 because 2 times 3 equals 6. Any other way of doing that? Uh, Can we not? No, have, I, I not? think there's the area, I think. Mm -hmm. Can it, Can you just like times 2 on the Very bottom? Very good. We can also times 2. For the bottom one, because we can make them into 3x plus 2y equals 13 and 4x plus 2y equals 16. Correct, everybody? Yeah, which is like... Okay, like, because we have increased 1x and the result has increased by 3. So we still get x equals 3 and plug them back. So 2 times 3 plus y equals 8. So 6 plus y equals 8. So six plus two equals eight. So y equals two. Good job, very good. I think everybody in this classroom is having a really good logic. 